Well, today, we're going to visit with the Southern Outlaw Gasser Group as they stage Gasser Blowout Number 16 at Mobile Dragway in Irvington, Alabama. The Mobile area has had an active drag trip since 1959. The name and location of the drag strip has changed through the years, and today the track is known as Mobile Dragway. In any event, it will be the location of the last gasser blowout under the leadership of Mr. Jesse Holmes. This gathering started out as a pre-race drivers meeting, but eventually it turned into a recognition celebration for Mr. Jesse Holmes. Jesse also received this post board that was signed by the people who attended GBO 16, the last gasser blowout. Over in the pit area, I finally caught up with Jesse Holmes while he was at his vendor's table. Now he was talking with people, and we know he can do that very well. And he was also signing autographs for the many people who stopped by during the weekend. Now Jesse's sister Teresa was also helping out, and I finally got him to talk with me. Hey. Yes, sir, Jim Ames. What do you think about the turnout here today? I think the track likes it. We're very happy. Yeah, very, very nice. Big turnout. Everybody's so happy to be here and so sad that this is going to be the last one. There is that dual feeling, isn't there? Two ways. Well, yep. yes, sir. Uh, but it's just time. Yeah. Everybody understands that with sure. some things I got going on with you guys. Eight years times two, that's why we're number 16. Yeah. But the Southern Outlaw, outlaw Gassers are still alive and well. There's several good groups to run. So we got the SNDR we can run with, the Southern Shakedown Series. The people that supported us today and had all the wonderful awards was from the Dirty South Gassers from Texas. Right. And then uh, we also have the Kentucky Bunch that runs with us. Wow. And uh, they're the straight acts of mafia. So there's several groups to run the oldest out of the cars with. Well, I just want to let you know that I think that you've been the glue that held us together for the last eight years. I appreciate it. You that. took it from a very small function. We had an event back in, what, 2015 to start it. Look at me now, baby. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful event. And it's an outpouring of love and support for you. That's special, Jess. Yep, that is special. No well, doubt. Jim, I feel this way. Whenever you do, whenever you do something that people want or need, you're filling a void for them. Yeah. And our void, many of us as older people, we want to have that fun while we can and make a few more laps. A good show, and as you see, we run back to back. There's no lag time, right. and that's what the crowd pays for oh, and yeah. likes. And we'll leave it at this: two things that you know is it's good people, good times, and they've had it forever on there. Forever. But I've always said it takes all us little french fries to make a happy meal. There you so go. So it's all good for uh -huh. everybody. Now before Jesse gets his Wally, there's lots of hardware here to be given out at Gasser Blowout 16. The Rupa Garage with Mitch and John got runner-up in a gas. The AGAS winner's trophy went to Dan Moon.
Yes, sir. <laughs> Mr. Lou, taste the gas after Mr. Lopez. All right. Waffle House, money. You can't buy much in Waffle House at 25 anymore, can you? Yeah. I know. I know. That's Big Vaughn Davis picking up his hardware. Mike Roush ended up winning the Sea Gas Flash. Clay Holland was the runner up in Sea Gas. <laughs> Bob Fultano was the runner up in the D Gas class. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Jake Roberts, first place for E-Gas. Jack Hobson got the runner-up trophy in the E-Gas class. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anybody as happy as Doug Manchester for winning that first place trophy in F. Gas. <laughs> Brandon Miller ended up with the G Gas Championship. Chester Taylor took on the runner up trophy in B Gas. All right. I'll get you back. Oh man, look. We took her for our first ride. Try it now. Hold it up there, buddy. Turn up. Nice, guys. Awesome. Well. This tops it all. The final presentation, it will be the awarding of the Gasser Blowout Belt and the overall championship for Gasser Blowout 16. And the winner is Alan Padgett. One, two, three. We love you, Uncle Woo! As I was returning home on Sunday, it struck me that I, too, had to thank all the people who were part of the Southern Outlaw Gassers, and most importantly, Mr. Jesse Holmes. Thanks, Jesse, for supporting Beyond Video, and thanks for the wonderful memories of good people and good times.